All right, this is a real quick video for battalion commanders and promotion authorities on uh, just how quick and easy it is to approve the integration of soldiers in your unit who uh, attended the E5 or E6 promotion board and you wanna integrate them to the promotion standing list so they can compete for promotion. This is real, real quick, real simple. All right, I've got my battalion commander hat on if you hadn't noticed. So we're just gonna knock this out real quick. I'm logged in as a battalion commander. I've got my home screen. I'm going to click on the nav, navigator, workforce administration, boards, board roster. As a battalion commander, you probably won't be in here very much. So when the screen refreshes, you're gonna to have to go find the board. Real quick and easy way to do it, hit the search bar. When it comes up, you should only have two choices, the E5 to E6 board and the E4 to E5 board. You're gonna to have to do both as a battalion commander. So it really doesn't matter where you start. We're just gonna go ahead and click on this uh, E5 to E6 because that's the one we've been working in these, uh, in these video series examples. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Now, in order to make this go a little bit faster, um, I've kind of pre-staged some of the information or some of the screens here. Um, but when you first pull this up as a battalion commander, uh, this box here, this reviewed and approved box that you see right here is going to be grayed out, okay? And in order to make that, and, and also there'll be no information down here, it'll be blank. So all you have to do is hit this filter button and the screen will refresh and go find the individuals in your organization. And so when it refreshes, it's gonna look like this. This box will now be available to click. But as you scroll down, you'll see the individuals who are being integrated, right? Who attended and passed the board, or in some cases, maybe didn't pass the board. Ultimately, you'll have the uh, one last chance, one final chance to, to say no uh, or yes to integrate. So um, the chances are the board proceedings, you've either signed them or they're on your desk somewhere right now. And it's gonna have that list of names of people who attended the board, signed by the board president, and you'll have to uh, manually sign that. Um, and the names that are on that report and their status was whether or not they were recommended for promotion or not should be congruent with what you're seeing on the screen in front of you. Um, but again, time, you know, a lot of things can happen in 24 hours. Um, you know, soldier goes to the board, does well, gets recommended, goes out, has a good night not a good morning, and then you decide to not integrate the individual, um, you know, go through all that legal process. So you could, you know, ultimately you could uh, make that change before, uh, before the integration happens and maybe save some time and paperwork. But in this instance, everybody's good to go. Uh, there have been no bad boys or girls. So we're gonna validate that we wanna promote select all of them. Uh, we validate that the promotion board um, occurred on this day. Um, again, it's not it's not mandatory that that's the day uh, that you sign the board proceedings. Um, it's just mandatory that's the day that um, the board approved their recommendation, right? Um, and so, if that's all good and all well and done, we're just going to click this reviewed and approved. And are you sure you want these members to be promotable? Yes, I do. And that's it. They have been recommended for promotion. And that's it. All we have to do is scroll down here to the bottom and click save. We'll save the page and our work as a promotion authority for E5 and E6 is complete. Uh, do me a favor, commanders, pass the word to your company commanders. There's a lot of company commander videos. We got one on decentralized promotions coming up. Um, another thing I wanted to point out was uh, as a battalion commander, you may be able to delegate the authority for someone to approve or integrate individuals onto the promotion standing list for you. Um, and there are some requirements for that. I did make a video on delegation authorities within IPSA, so I'll pop an iCard up there if you wanna check that out. Otherwise, I appreciate you watching. Click the subscribe button, follow us on YouTube, Twitter, uh, MillSuite and MillTube, Defend and Serve.